Good day to you, blessed and highly favored people of the Most High God. I'd like to share our scripture with you today. So today we're going to take a look at, let's see, Philippians 1 and 6, one of my favorite scriptures. Philippians 1 and 6 says, um, being confident of this very thing, that he who hath began a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ, which is to tell us that God's still working on me, that he's began something good in me, and he will complete the work. This work won't fall dormant. It will not go unmanaged or unproductive, um, progressive, that God will finish the work that he's begun in you. I also like to take a look at this and read it from the Amplified. And the Amplified says, I am convinced to be confident and to be convinced says a lot. I am convinced and sure. So there's a level of assurity. There is a level, level of certainty, assurance that comes along with believing that God has a plan for your life and believing that everything that you're doing up until this moment, God has a design in it for you, that there's a blessing waiting for you. I am convinced and I am sure that he who have began a good work, which is to say God's already started something in you. And if you're battling faith and mental health, you've got to realize that God's already started the work of healing in you. It's already begun. He's already launched it so that you can have success. And so be assured, be certain that God's hand is on your life and that he's working on your behalf. I am convinced and I am sure that he who had started this thing, God started this battle, God started this fight, and he signed your name up for the battle and for the fight, which says to you, you're stronger than you think you are. You can do more than you think you can do. And God fights for you. And he began this good work in you and He's not giving up on you. And get this, if he doesn't give up on you, don't you give up on you. If he hasn't quit on you, don't you quit on yourself. And so you um, have to honor your own tenacity, honor your own fervence, honor your own right to be a child of God by continuing the work continually doing the thing that he's told you to do um, until the day of Jesus Christ. What right up to the time of his return, we're continually developing that good work, that proven work, that productive work. And that work has a lot to do with you. You're the tool God is using to get this work done. We're the instrument that God is using to get the work done. Your work, your assignment may be different from my work, my assignment. And yet and still, I have been assigned to do something that's bigger than me, bigger than me, which says I'm not required to know it all, but I do have to know where to go get the answers. Years ago, I worked as a deputy city recorder for the city of Eugene. And I had a supervisor who, um, when she trained me, we had this big city code, thick binders of information that we would have to be ready to go find um, what somebody called about. Like if they called about the noise ordinance, and we'd have to be able to go to this code in the city code and say section such and such and such and such says that from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. people can make as much noise as they want to. I had to know where to go find it, but I didn't have to memorize 
all the details in my head. So one thing she was instrumental in teaching me is, Sandra, we don't have to know it all, but we do have to know where to find it. And so can I tell you, you may not always know what the next step is or what the next move is, but you do need to know where to go find it, where to go question, where to go ask, where to go seek. You should not be the sharpest tool in your shed. Yeah, you wanna get around people who challenge you, people who um, encourage you to go the extra mile and to do the bigger thing. You wanna get around those people because those people are gonna sharpen you. Being confident of this very thing, he that began a good work, he shall accomplish it, he shall finish it until the day of Jesus Christ. Takeaways, this is not your battle, this is God's battle. And if this is God's battle, he don't lose. <laughs> he don't lose, but the stuff he used, he don't lose, right? God's battle, he's not losing this battle. He has began a work in you. It's already started whether it's mental health healing, physical health healing, relationships healing, he's already began the work. If you're on this page and you're looking for encouragement and you're seeking for what's my next step, what do I need to do? He's begun the work. You're in search. You're in search for something bigger, something better. So he started something in you. He won't let you down. He won't forsake you. He won't leave you lonely, although you may feel alone, you're not lonely because he is there with you. He's an ever present force that's within our lives. So he began that work. He's not gonna let that work fall to the ground. He's gonna complete that work, why? Because his name is on it. You're just a steward of his work. So why not be a good steward and be confident in these things? and understand that he's gonna make it come to pass. That's what he does best. So take that word, um, let it resonate in your spirit, write down some key nuggets. What's the work God's beginning in me right now? What is he doing? What, what is he bringing to pass right now? What's your work? You have to decide what's your work. Write those things down. Every day, take an account as to how am I moving one step closer to being a perfected product that God has called me to be. Yeah, he's going to complete these things. In moments when you feel like giving up, feel like walking away, turning in the towel, come back to these notes and say, oh, wait a minute. It's not my work. I work for a risen Savior. I work for the greatest employer ever, right? The retirement plan is out of this world. And that's where we want to go. You have the benefits. You get a power packed package of benefits when you align yourself with God. So God bless you on this day. Be safe out in the world. Allow God to show himself strong through you and to you. And you will see the fullness of his glory show up in your life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God bless you.